back. We're back with Brian Cranston. Besides having some friends from Amazon Women in the Moon uh, in common, yeah. we also are baseball fans. Oh, you are too. Well, um, I'm I, I'm sort of a baseball fan. On Melmac, we had Bullia baseball. It was it was like uh, it was like your baseball, only it was played with fish guts instead of the ball. <laughs> but but that's nothing to do with what I'm going to ask you. Oh, okay. Because my crack staff, who are all baseball fans. I thought maybe you might mean that, that they're on crack. Oh, no. Well, I, I think Kevin is. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, we, no, no, he's oh. not. He's not. Um, we are, we've came up with these questions, and we're going to sort of like ease into it a little bit, you know, so it's not, you know, I don't want to make a fool out of you well, because, uh, you know, I just want to see what you know. So all you're right, ready for all this? Right. Okay, I'm ready. Right, so, so I'm ready. First one, Do I get Ed as a help? No, I don't get Ed. Uh, no. Maybe, maybe. Right, I'll, right. Just, I'll determine right. that later. We'll see how funny this is. All right, all right here we go. First of all, very simple, how many bases are there in baseball? Oh! Not a trick question. Okay, four. Very good. Right. Oh. Yeah. Four. Four. All right, bring it on. You know, yeah, see? People are applauding like there's a prize here. There's no prize. All right, here's a stumper. Give me the, the next The person one. who catches the ball, what do they call him? That would be the catcher, Al. That's Alf. right, yeah. that's the catcher. All right, all right. And uh, the area that they dig out of the ground for the players to be in is called... The area that's... Uh, you know, with a... Oh, uh, you know, what is a dugout? Dugout, okay. <laughs> All right. All right, give me your minute. All right. All right. This okay. is easy. All right, here's... Thank you. One more to go. Give it one to more me. To go. Give it to me. I All right, the 1976 All-Stars game. <laughs> Top of the fourth. The National League All-Stars lead four to nil. Who was at... The third, who's the third at bat for the American League All-Stars? I've got the answer right here. Are you kidding me? Yeah, third at bat. Could I repeat it for How you? How does that compare with the first three questions? I told you they were going to get harder. Wait, 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 wait. That was Red Sox outfielder Fred Lynn, the lefty. He hit the game's only run for the American League All-Star, putting them on the board for the very first time, although they did eventually lose the game 7-1. That's absolutely correct. <laughs> See that? Ed, you amaze me. Hi-o! Oh, hi -o. Hi -o. Wow. But it's really not nice to upstage our guests like that. But I you mean, did that was, good on the other part. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. I'll, give you, I'll give you a bonus question. Bonus all right? question? All right, right, make up for that. All right. Who was the uh, losing team for the 2002 World Series? Oh. I know that. Go ahead. I was there. We saw the Angels beat the San Francisco Giants. Absolutely yeah. correct. Yeah. All right. Very good. Now, are you a fan of Leon Redbones? I love Leon. Redbones. I love Leon, Leon Redbone, too. He's coming up here because, you know, I want to tell you something. This guy here is a favorite of mine. Even back on Melmac, we thought he was hip. Yeah. So please, welcome. Actually, he looks like my Uncle Ziggy, too, so I feel like I've known him for a while. Yeah, yeah. Straight from his planet to ours, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Leon Redbone. Yeah. I went down south for see my gal, Paul Waldoodle all day. She got curly eyes and laughing hair, Paul Waldoodle all day. Fare well, fare well, fare well, my fairy face. I'm going to Louisiana for to see my Susiana, Paul Waldoodle all day. Just dress up sitting on a railroad track, Paul Waldoodle all day. Picking his teeth with a carpet sack, Paul Waldoodle all day. Very well, very well, very well, my very face. I'm going to Louisiana for the see of Louisiana. Five all day, long day. I'm down, all alone. I just love all alone. All alone, all alone. Yeah, I'm down, I'm down. Couldn't get across, Paul Wall did it all day. I jumped on a gate, I thought it was a horse, Paul Wall did it all day. Better well, better well, better well, my fairy face. I'm going to Louisiana for the same Susiana, Paul Wall did it all day. Paddle your way up.
up here. You're the man. You are the man. Wow. That was great. All right, thank you. You're very welcome. You're kind of an elusive guy, aren't you? You don't do too many talk shows, huh? How come you graced my stage? I'm really honored. I was waiting for that invitation. Okay. Well, <laughs> you can come here anytime you want. I'm telling you that right now. I love you. All right, thank yeah. you very much. Yeah. Um, would it be too much if maybe we could uh, maybe sing a little song together? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that. How's uh, how's B flat for you? Is that good? The people. I don't know key. the words to that one. <laughs> well, we'll do it anyway. All I right. can be very flat. B flat. <laughs> I'm flat. Hello, me, 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 right. me, 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 you. You start. I'll join in. Good idea. All right. Shine on, shine on, hours blow up in the sky. I ain't had no love since January, February, June, July. It's no time, yeah. ain't no time to stay. Oh my! Outdoors it's full. Yes. So shine oh, on. Yeah. Shine on harvest moon for me and my gal. Shine on, shine on harvest moon up in the sky. I ain't had no love since January, February, June, July, the Nixon administration. Anyway, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back. I'm here with Leon Redbone and Brian Cranston. Yeah! Dun, 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 dun. I'm glad we saved a little time at the end of the show for my favorite time. Uh, we have questions for I the audience. I hold in my hand the question. Mm -hmm. Please, please. Are you ready? That sounds very familiar when you say that. Do that again. I hold in my hands the question. All right. All right, I'm looking for Rosemary Oswald. Rosemary Oswald. Uh, Try to cheer up. Uh, oh, cheer up thank you. Me. I love right, you, too. Here we go. Call you on yourself. <laughs> All right, Rosemary. This is baby. not an audition, Rosemary. I'm just going to read yeah. the question. All right. What's I would like to know if the rumor that I've read, this is Rosemary, is true. Were you in a performance of Cats? Uh, well, interesting. Uh, I, was on, I was on stage with Cats, but I wasn't a performer. I thought it was a buffet. Yeah. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Thank you, Rosemary. We've got some more. Yeah. This, uh, roll. Tom Bell. Now, this he may be a medical Tom person. Tom Bell. Where's Tom? Tom Bell. There's Tom Bell. He says, have you had your shots? Have I had my shots? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've had six of them. I could use another. Where's the bartender? <laughs> ah, 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 yeah. Whoa. Anyway, I think that's all the time we have. I, this, this show keeps getting funner and funner. I have to thank my guests, Brian Cranston, Leon Redbone, the great Ed McMahon, the great audience here in Hollywood, California. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Yeah! the next house hit talk show with tom arnold from the best damn sports show period we both discovered britney spears ed discovered her on star star search, search. Right. Sure. i discovered her passed out in the hall of my condo house hit talk show next friday night at 11 only on tv land